welcome back to my channel so the other day on Instagram I saw somebody post um, a cute little terracotta pot like this with um, I think this is called like super donkey tail something like that and that's all it was that it was in the pot and it was filled and I really liked the way it looked so I said hmm maybe I should put uh, maybe I should pull my um, donkey tails and put them together I don't have a lot but I wanted to put them together and also because um, I've been watching it and I think that maybe during the rainy season um, I might lose them because it did lose quite a few leaves because um, this one was out in the open so yeah and then I decided to go ahead and look around um, to see um, I had another piece in the front so I decided to pull it out I've had this in a pot for a very, very long time. Um, it's grown some, but not um, super, you know, not like a lot. And uh, when you look at it, you would say that this looks pretty healthy, right? Super healthy looking plant. So I decided to pull it out, right? Hold on, I'm gonna clean my screen so I can see what I'm showing you guys. So um, when I pulled up, when I was looking at it, when you look at it like this, super healthy looking plant, don't see any bugs on it, and guess what? Look at the infestation of mealybugs at the root. This was buried in soil all the way up to here. Guys, how would I, the, the plant itself looks good, right? so you inspect your plants and you see nothing but look at this infestation look at that like so grossed out by it I'm trying to show you a good look at it see all those mealy bugs they are like living the life in there and now I'm gonna treat that whole pot this is the pot I'm talking about I've had it already for two years and I like the way it looks it looks very artsy in my opinion um, and it's been there for a very long time in the front. Gets a lot of sun as you can see. And yeah, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and start taking this apart and inspecting my plants. Um, after I pull it apart, I'll come back to the camera and show you guys um, what I find. This one was not a part of that plant. Um, wasn't a part of that pot, so this one is fine. I pulled it out of another planter that I have and um, I did not dig in the root of this one to see if there is but I will but not right now because I do not want to contaminate it so I'm just gonna go ahead and put it to the side over there and just mess with this um, so yeah I'm gonna treat this real quick pick at it and take all those little buggers out and spray it and then um, I'm gonna dive into this. So, I actually would like to place this back as is because I really do like the way it looks. I know why this got mealybugs the way it did. I know why. Especially down there at the bottom. Um, so, mealybugs do not like, um, they really like dry areas. And this plant right here, it's in the front and where it is in the front there's an overhang so it does not get water when it rains here I water it very little because I forget to water my plants my plants that are not like if they're in an area where they need to be watered by me um, yeah I tend to forget about them the other plants that are outside you know where they can just get wet when it rains those are fine but I try to remember to water these, but I tend to forget. And obviously, sometimes they do really well. The stress look and stuff like that is fine. But yeah, this has been here for a very long time. Like I said, the soil gets very dry. So yeah. 
So what I did was I poured straight alcohol on that plant. As soon as I poured it, um, the mealy bugs turned red. And then I was able to take my, um, what is this thing called? Uh, you know that sprayer that people use that I showed you guys that I have for the water that people use for weed killer? I took that and I really like that because you can, um, you can actually get a decent amount of pressure with that. You know, you can adjust whether you want like a soft flow or, or mist or high pressure. And I pressured it and they came right off. The mealy bugs came right off. So I do enjoy, I'm enjoying using that a lot. Because I can, you know, take water to areas where it's just not easy dragging the hose or dragging um, the, the bucket. Oh, I'm so sorry. Hold on, guys. So sorry. Okay, I think that's enough I'm picking and I'm gonna try to this is root bound as well because it's been there like I said forever, but it'll be easy to remove and we're gonna look at it. And the neighbor's dogs are barking on stuff. Let's see here. So tight. Oh, a lot of ants as well. So obviously, they're the ones bringing in the mealy bugs. This is so tight. I don't even know if I'll be able to see mealy bugs because I'm moving it around right now. Let's just try to pull this one out. Let's look at it. I see some white powder right there. So I would say that there was mealy bugs in here as well. But I don't see it like I did on the other one. The other one was crazy. What I do is I'll lay this on the ground, pressure, clean it, you know, with the pressure well yeah that's fine I'll do that and then I'll um, treat it and then rinse it again and then put it in no soil I think so let's see how much pressure I got in there oh, a good pressure in there it's good because you don't want too much pressure and kill your plant with like a whole I mean, it, this is really difficult to do with one hand, so I'll come back to you guys. So well, here it is, guys. I'm just able to pot it up. I think I got it close to what it was looking like. What it ended up doing is I tried to remove as much of the soil that was um, stuck to the roots, and then I did pour some alcohol directly onto there, and then I rinsed it. And then I threw away the old soil, cleaned the pot, and replanted it. Mealy bugs are a pain. So I guess it would be a good thing Thing to um, every once in a while treat your plants because as you guys saw um, which one was it this one no the this one this one that was previously planted in here did not show any signs of uh, mealybug it is a lighter color but it was exposed to more sun so I'm not sure to me I did not see any signs so it's good to treat. Oh, and watch out for ants. Ants is a good sign. So just treating your succulents every now and then for me. So this bugs. is a product that you mix um, with water and you pour. See, it says pour, not to spray. So they use these for tree and shrubs. But Maria from Maria's Garden a long time ago um, recommended this to me. And I've talked about it here before, but I'm sure um, you guys probably forgot or the new people haven't heard of it so if you look for this and see follow the instructions this as is and use it you'll be fine um, I haven't had any issues using it 
and it does help with the mealybugs. I don't get frequently. I don't get um, mealybugs frequently, so that could be a good reason why. So um, yeah, um, use this every now and then. Maybe I don't know if you have a real problem with mealybugs. Maybe every three months, but if you don't, maybe every six months. It really depends up to you. But yeah, you can find this at Home Depot, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this was helpful to you guys. Have a blessed day. Bye, guys. So excited, guys. Look at how big these are. Look at that. I can't wait to see them open up. And I think that will be tomorrow. See you guys then.